Good day, good morning. Today is July 2 and again this is Lawrence, your daily podcast. Pero today it is going to be different kasi um, this is another set of relationship, um relationship with the Lord, a Christian or a spiritual relationship. And alam niyo naman, no? Ako, I'm not that religious. But when I talk about um, relationships or issues or topics about anything, I always have this conclusion to always commit sa Panginoon. Kasi alam nyo, a life without God is use- useless, worthless, walang saisay, walang patutunguhan. And that is why for today, my chosen topic is about spiritual maturity. Now, how do we obtain or how can we acquire spiritual maturity? Especially right now, um, sobrang stressful ng surrounding, sobrang um, toxic ng mga nangyayari sa ating paligid. But the thing is, how can we grow in our spiritual journey how can we achieve yung spiritual position or um, growth na gusto ng Panginoon na magkaroon tayo and today sabi ko nga we will be talking about spiritual maturity and First, let us try to define what spiritual maturity is. In some of the readings or articles that I've read, um, they say that Christian maturity requires a radical reordering of one's priorities. So if we talk about spiritual maturity, we are trying to give a point of view that only connects with God that only pertains doon sa um, spiritual realm. Okay? But of course, it will always reflect yung pamumuhay natin dito sa lupa. And it says here na kailangan ng radical or extreme reordering of one's priorities. How's that? Maybe you are asking, paano ba kasi yung reordering of one's priorities? Now, let us try to define ano ba yung buhay ng wala si God. Of course, kapag wala si Lord sa buhay natin, um, we don't care. We, we know what spirits are, but we don't know yung life na namumuhay sa spiritualidad. Kaya, ang pamumuhay natin, kung ano-ano lang, kung pwede, yun ang gagawin mo. Parang walang, um, no one rebukes you. Walang nagre-rebuke sa'yo, walang uh, nagko-correct sa'yo. Unlike uh, sa mga Christians, for those who claim to be Christians and who received the power of the Holy Spirit, um, hindi sila passive mag Especially kung talagang full of uh, wisdom ka, sobrang, um, sobrang sinisik mo si Lord. God will always give you that heart and that discernment to always, you know, wait for, for the confirmation of the Holy Spirit before you do something. That is why it, you must have a reordering of priorities. Kung dati, okay lang lahat sa'yo. Kung dati, basta beneficial sa'yo, okay lang. Now, when we say spiritual maturity, hindi mo inooo on lahat. You learn to say no on the things that you know or inimpress na sa'yo ni Lord that will take you away from Him. That will bring you out of His presence or His will. 
parang you're trying to change over from uh, pleasing yourself to pleasing God and learning to obey God. So, all in all, the bottom line is when we talk about spiritual maturity, we're trying to end ourself and begin to please the Lord. To have a life that pleases God. To have a life that obeys the Word of God. The key to maturity is kailangan meron tayong tinatawag na consistency, meron tayong, um, let's say, oh, perseverance in doing those things. Kasi, in the end of it, kahit na mahirap, kahit na parang sa sitwasyon natin sobrang imposible, the Lord will always direct us to His presence. The more we we obey God, the more we seek God, the more we choose no, na magpaalaga sa Panginoon, na hayaan siyang um, mag-control sa buhay natin, the more din na uh, nagiging closer tayo sa Kanya. Because you're allowing God to control your life. You're allowing God to 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 interfere sa mga agenda mo sa buhay. These practices are referred to us as the spiritual disciplines. Ayan. Minsan nakakatakot itong spiritual discipline. Minsan nakaka um natak- nakakatakot in a sense na parang Ang dami mong kailangang i-sacrifice. Ang dami mong kailangang hindi maranasan dito sa mundo na kasiyahan just to to respond doon sa call ng Panginoon para lang madisiplinahan yung spiritual life mo. And sa una, parang mahirap, but when you learn to love God more, kung mas nai love ka na sa Panginoon, mas marirealize mo na the life that you chose is something na pinaka the best na decision na nagawa mo sa buhay mo. That when you accepted Jesus Christ, you thought that your life would be miserable, that your life would be sayang, pero hindi eh. I remember when we had our ministries together with Pastora Krisha, I think you know her. Nung pumunta kami ng um, correctional or sa kulungan sa Mundin Lupa, I was so amazed to see people na kahit nakakulong sila, alam mong may growth yung spiritual life nila kasi lagi silang nafe-feed, may kanya-kanya silang Bible study. And ang kwento ni Ate Krisha sa akin, sabi niya, dati daw, nung hindi pa masyadong pinupuntahan yon ang sinasabi daw ng mga tao doon na nakakulong. Oh, andiyan na naman yung mga ano, yung mga this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Andiyan na naman yung mga mahal na mahal kita Panginoon. But right now, when I saw them singing, oh my God, sobrang nakaka-bless na makita na kahit nakakulong sila, alam nilang may value yung buhay nila kasi nakasuko yung buhay nila sa Panginoon. And in that situation, ang akala natin sobrang miserable na ng situation. But then, mas blessed sila kasi mas um, confined sila sa isang lugar and at the same time, wala silang takas to hear the word of God kasi laging binibisita ng mga pastors ang mga lugar na yan. And um, I think that is part of somehow, no? part din siya ng spiritual discipline. And another thing the pwede natin gawin to discipline our spiritual life is by reading the Bible, by studying, praying, fellowshipping with people, attending a service, and stewardship. No? So no matter how hard we might work on those things, None of this is impossible without the enabling of the Holy Spirit within us. Kaya kailangan na kailangan natin to. Hindi pwede na sinasabi natin Christian tayo, pero wala tayong journey with the Holy Spirit. Wala tayong relationship with Him. Kasi sa buhay natin, we always thought na kapag nag-church tayo, na kapag ginagawa natin yung mga mabubuting bagay, doon tayo nasisave, doon tayo nag-grow. Well, it will pacify or it will um, 
masarap sa feeling yung nakakatulong, masarap sa feeling yung nag attend ka ng church. But that is not just about this. Hindi lang siya ganun. It requires spiritual maturity. It requires um, it requires heart na may surrender in order for us to have or achieve yung spiritual maturity na sinasabi natin. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 16, it tells us that we are to walk by the Spirit. Pag sinabi nating walk, it actually means to walk with a purpose in view. Wow. To walk with a purpose in view. Also, Paul tells us again that we are we are to walk by the Spirit. The word translated walk Ibig sabihin, it is taking step by step, by step at a time. Hindi yung kapag sinabi natin, oh, I have a relationship with God, and then later on, ay okay ka na, sobrang holy mo na. No. Kaya minsan, medyo nakakarindi yung stereotype na, ay, nag-church. Eh, ganito nga yung ginagawa niyan. Ay, nag-church siya. Paholy lang lang mga yan. Yung taong nagsasalita ng gano'n, walang spiritual growth, walang uh, sensitivity doon sa pwedeng um, i-correct sana ng Panginoon sa kanya. We cannot say that kasi ang spiritual growth naman or maturity is not a one-click na parang remote. But it, it has to be taken step by step by step by step. And kailangan talagang nakasurrender yung puso mo in order for you to achieve that. Kailangan nakababad ka sa, sa salita ng Panginoon. Kailangan you have this time to to have devotion, attend services, stewardship. And alam nyo, ang church are full of broken people. Minsan pati yung mga preachers, they are also broken. But one thing that makes us strong is the power of the Holy Spirit that enables us to rise up from our situation. And when you learn to trust the Lord in everything, doon natin makikita that we have our spiritual maturity. Another idea about being spiritual matured spiritually matured is when we learn to recognize the power of God in our lives the power of the holy spirit working in us so kailangan talaga ng submission kailangan talaga na um just like a building na nakoconstruct kailangan ninananam, kailangan ina-enjoy mo yung each level na nabibuild in order for you to have a stronger foundation. Kasi we're not just talking about the beauty of being a Christian, but we're talking about yung growth mo as a Christian. It is learning to walk, to walk under the instruction of the Holy Spirit. And being filled with the Spirit means we walk under the Spirit's control. Kaya hindi tayo pwedeng mag-decide na tayo-tayo lang. Kaya when we pray, sinasabi natin, Lord, sinusuko ko na. Lord, gusto ko ikaw mag-control dito. And that is how we walk with the Holy Spirit. We allow them to control. We wait for, for, for that confirmation from the Lord. And alam nyo, kapag sobrang... Um, uh, sobrang um, devoted nyo sa Panginoon, sa Holy Spirit. Actually, sila na mismo yung magre-reveal sa'yo kung ano yung pwede mong gawin. And that is the power of being um, spiritually mature. Meron kang access to know the will of God, yung ini-impress, yung desire ng Panginoon sa'yo. Na kahit sobrang, uh, kung makikita natin sa mata ng tao, sobrang Ah, uh, ang layo namang mangyari yun na mag, mag magkakaroon ng message from the Holy Spirit or from God. Pero yun yung secret of a happy Christian life. Na kahit mahirap ang buhay, 
ang tingin ng tao ay ano ba yan, nag-church pero ganyan naman ang buhay ganyan naman yung mahirap naghihirap naman siya pero you never know the joy of serving the Lord you never know the joy of having God in our lives unless kayo yung mismo na nasa position namin <laughs> parang may kaaway ba ako dito pero yeah so as we submit more and more to the Spirit's control doon din natin nakikita yung increase doon sa fruit of the Spirit in our lives. And that is the characteristic no, ng spiritual maturity when we are able to apply, when we are able to um, bear fruit ng Holy Spirit. Ayan. So, even even before we we learn na sobrang um, sobrang nagro na tayo sa spiritual life natin when we become Christians we are all given ng mga bagay na kailangan natin for spiritual maturity pero kailangan natin i-work out yon by reading the word by attending services by attending prayer meetings by praying by seeking the Lord kasi yun lang naman ang way for us to achieve yung spiritual maturity na sinasabi natin. Even Peter tells us that God's divine power has granted to us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us to His own glory and excellence. Sa 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 yun. And God alone is our resource. Wala na tayong paghahanapan. Walang ibang way for us to grow spiritually but only God. And all growth comes by grace through Him. But we are responsible to make the choice to obey. Ito yung mahirap eh. The choice to obey. So mapa career yan mapa relationship mapa future mo yan we always need to consult God because in order for us to know the will of God in our lives in order for us to achieve yung spiritual maturity na sinasabi natin kailangan sobrang connected tayo sa Panginoon kailangan alam natin ma-discern natin kung ano ba talaga yung kagustuhan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay kasi mahirap na namumuhay ka nasa sa, sa sarili mo lang na katayuan. We need God. We need God. And I remember, okay, this is my closing part. This is a story wherein meron akong kinomentan, nag-comment ako sa isang post about um, about God, about prayer, and about a therapist. No? Ang sabi niya dun sa post, um, um, praying and God is essential na kailangan talaga magkaroon tayo nun. But, kailangan din natin ng therapist for our mental health. Yun ang sinasabi doon sa post. And then, meron akong isang nakitang comment na mas okay nga na walang God at walang prayer. At least kung may therapist, mamumuhay ka pa din, mas makakasurvive ka pag may therapist. Kesa, okay lang wala ng God, okay lang wala ng prayer. And then, nag-comment ako, sabi ko, doon sa post ko na parang, um, I think you need those three. I think you need those three, sabi ko ganun, doon sa post niya. And then, sumagot siya agad, I'm not delusional. Pero I'm not trying to parang uh, nakikipag uh, tawag doon. Nakikipag diskusyonan doon sa taong 'yon. Pero parang alam niyo 'yon, parang gusto ko lang din i-share kung ano yung experience ko having God and not having a therapist. Pero um, yung mental health ko okay pa rin naman. And then I shared na um, I shared the importance of God in my life. Ako, I'm not that rich. I am not that well. Pero alam ko that because of my relationship with the Lord, because of my connection with God, mas nagiging okay ako. Nasusurvive ko or na-overcome ko yung everyday struggle, yung everyday na 
na pagsubok sa buhay because I have God in my life. At wala akong therapist. Niwala nga akong someone na pinagsisharean about my story. Well, not all kasi pwede kong ikwento. Pero, kaya naman na survive ko. And that is the power of having God sa buhay natin. Sobrang laking tulong ng mga therapist, ng mga doktor. Pero, let us not forget to recognize that God is still more powerful than any other things. Kaya nga, um, mahirap na alam natin na may Diyos pero wala tayong relationship kaya na. Kaya, for this very reason, we must make every effort to to supplement your faith with virtue. Yun yung sinabi ko sa kanya na kailangan um, kailangan mo magkaroon ng faith. Kasi true faith, kaya na overcome ko yung mental health, yung struggle ko sa buhay. Kaya, faith is very much important. Faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with steadfastness and with godliness and with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they will keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So being effective and fruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus is the essence of spiritual maturity.